for many, many years, always being by my side. And he is what we tell kids to have find if you can't find a twin. Um, if you don't have a twin, find one, because a twin really is your critical friend, right? Somebody who's going to be there for you no matter what. And they love you, but they're also, you know, you're in your safe bubble, so you can say, I think that's a really crazy idea. <laughs> or, and sometimes with Pete, you know, we go back and forth and we'll come up with wacky ideas, and we're kind of good to know when to, you know, allow them to float or work on them, or maybe suggest we put them aside. And so it was kind of interesting because Julie came in on the, this relationship and because Pete's illustrating and I'm doing the writing, but to have an editor like Julie who's just so amazing and respectful of the process Pete, that Pete and I have, and it's kind of unusual because a lot of times you have the author over here and they never meet the illustrator over there. And then, you know, sometimes the first time you ever even, you know, you know see, see it together is when it's, when it's published. So Pete and I had this unusual advantage of um, we think it's an advantage because the the illustrations and the words go together but um, Julie was just just terrific and I really say that after doing educational media and technology for um, close to 30 years and also teaching I teach at Boston College teaching this is, will be my 27th year teaching undergrad communications um, it's uh, the, I know what good collaborative relationships are, and, and Julie was terrific, because we really had to wrestle with some things, trying to remember we were explaining science along with a lot of different layers to first and second graders. And I, I think Julie understands the spirit of the story is not, all these stories is not to, to teach science content, but to make kids fall in love with STEM. So, and, and she was just so 